Good old April 10th, one of the most important holidays of the year. Not only is it National Siblings Day, it's also National Farm Animals Day, National Cinnamon Crescent Day, whatever that means, and National Encourage a Young Writer Day. And with all those holidays packed into one day, I thought it'd be a great day to learn holiday by Green Day. So that's what we're going to do. But before I say day even one more time, I would like to thank the following people for signing up for the Patreon supporter of the Cause Club, Mr. Eric Weiss, Christopher Cochran, and Ethan. Gentlemen, thank you. Thank you for your support on this day. And if you would like to find out what that's all about, the link, of course, is in the description. For that searing intro, put your pointer finger on the A string 8th fret, and I like my ring finger, you might want to use your pinky finger, on the B string 9th fret. The trick here is to mute all the strings we don't want to hear with your pointer finger. Notice I'm nudging up slightly on that E string and just touching everything else gently so I can strum away. The only two strings you hear are the A string and the B string, and those are the strings for the whole intro. We got 8-9. Move it down to 4-6, notice the shape changed, up to 11-13, and back down to 6-8. 8-9, 4-6, 11-13, 6-8, for the searing intro. When the power chords slam in, it's going to be the A string 8th fret. I'm doing three finger power chords, you can do two if you want, I'm going to do three. Down to the A string 4th fret, E string 4th fret. A string 6th fret. Those power chords have names. They are F, C sharp, G sharp, and D sharp. Kind of tricky to memorize, but this is not tricky to memorize. The first three dots on your E string, Grandma always brings. The first three dots on your A string, Crappy Deviled Eggs. Grandma always brings crappy deviled eggs. Helps you remember the notes on the E and the A strings. G, A, B, C, D, E. So if, for instance, we're looking for D sharp, you go, Grandma always brings crappy deviled. And one higher, D sharp. That should help. The verse is four sets of four things. It's going to start with, I'm assuming you've practiced your Grandma always brings crappy deviled eggs. It's going to start with F, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, just like the intro was. Then the second thing is going to be the same as that, except instead of the last chord being D sharp, it's going to be C. So F, C sharp, G sharp, C. You could also play C on the E string 8th fret, and then you'd be right back into position to get back to F, but I don't know, kind of like making the vacuum cleaner noise when you go back up. The third thing is exactly the same as the first thing, F, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, and then the fourth thing is just four C's. Four measures of C, four units of C, this being a unit. Here's the whole thing, F, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, F, C sharp, G sharp, C, F, C sharp, G sharp, D, C. For the verse. The chorus starts with F, but not this F, this F. E string first fret, F, C sharp, It's the same thing as the intro and the first and third things from the verse, except each chord lasts twice as long, and it's this F to start, not this F. Anyways, F, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, followed by the same first three chords, F, C sharp, G sharp, and you guessed it, C. For the chorus. For the breakdown, the thing that comes before the solo, it's going to be E string, power chords, 1, 3, 4, then A4, E6, A6, A3. It's a little confusing, but do it a dozen times and you'll get it. And the second half starts the same E, 1, 3, 4, but now we're going up to A6, E8, A8. Twice. The rhythm section for the solo is going to be C sharp, G sharp, C, F, D sharp. That's 
the first half. The second half is C sharp. Starts the same. G sharp, but then lots of C. solo section for the solo is going to start on the B string 6th fret. I remember that by remembering that the first chord of the rhythm section of the solo is C sharp, which is the 4th and 6th frets, and that's where you start on the B string. The B string 6th fret is where you start. B, 6, 8, 9, and then reach for the G string 8th fret and kind of do the opposite. 8, 6, 5. 6, 8, 9, 8, 6, 5. Then slide up to the B string 8th fret and make little stairs, one string at a time, before you grab B6 and E8. Do what you started with again. Then slide all the way up to the 12th fret of the G string, B13, E12, and you're going to end on E13. What I really like about that is this little thing you just did, you might recognize as a D shape. It's a D shaped C. The band is wailing away on C forever and ever, and while that's going on, the solo is arpeggiating the chord that the band is wailing away on C. You can play along with the bass ranty yay part if you like. It's the same strings and notes as the power chords was from the breakdown, so do it a single note. By the way, I had a student who legitimately thought it was fill all the bags with donut cream. Not of joking. course, the guitars join in on the fun for the last three notes of the bassy yay section. It's going to be D sharp, C, F. I played C up there this time because it's so quick. And then you go to C for just cause and hang on that forever. I don't know why. I like to do that and then go all the way down to that C. Just can't get enough of that vacuum noise. And now you know everything there is to know except for the very last note of the song because at the end when they're doing the breakdown again they end with... A low F so they can swerve into Boulevard of Broken Dreams. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you play Holiday by Green Day. Happy Holidays. <laughs> Happy April 10th. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that was fun and helpful. Goodbye.